<laughs> Hi you all and welcome to my channel Overcoming Gluttony 2023. My name is Alicia and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 252 pounds and I have successfully kept my weight off since July of 2020. I vlog daily plus every week I show you what I've meal prepped and all of the food that I have in my household and we also grow microgreens together. Overflow. Overflow is what we will be talking about today and my goodness I have been experiencing an overflow. Like I mentioned earlier I started my weight loss journey in July of 2020 and from July of 2020 to January of 2023, I've lost about 50 pounds. So that's about two and a half years, which equals, let's just say roughly 25 pounds a year per se. Now, so far in the past four months of 2023, I've lost 27 pounds. Four months, 27 pounds, as opposed to, to um, like a year and losing 25 pounds. What's been the difference? Well, I started a YouTube channel. I've been held accountable by you all. I've also been tracking my behaviors by um, giving you all a percentage of how frequently I am performing my health goals. So with me becoming more disciplined and more serious and less casual about weight loss, I have experienced an overflow of success 27 pounds lost in four months as opposed to 25 pounds lost in like 15 months you know so yeah and also with me being so much more successful with my weight loss I find that there are other areas in my spiritual life that I am conquering and dominating which I've been attempting to do for almost two decades the spirit of lust doesn't really come near me anymore, you know? I'm, I'm not lusting as much. I'm budgeting my money better. I'm more polite with people while still being sincere. <laughs> so I have been praying about some things for some years. For example, um, each day I ask God, or I thank God rather, I thank God for blessing me to have healthy habits and I thank God for blessing me to be the president of the responsibility club and that's just kind of like our little internal secret about me you know managing my money better um, so I've been praying on these things for maybe two or three years and now that I see that I'm getting healthier with healthier and better with conquering the spirit of gluttony or just being gluttonous because it's my own fleshly carnal desires of what to do. I'm, like I said, I'm not lusting as much or hardly at all for that matter. And I'm being a lot more responsible with my money. And, you know, I'm experiencing overflow in these areas, like overflow. So if you were to pull down the wall of gluttony or the barrier of not being concerned enough about your health, what areas do you think you would be more successful in? Other areas that I'm more successful in is I found strategies of just looking better in general. Like my skin is looking really clear maybe because um, I've been eating organic vegetables is that's been the primary thing the primary food source in my diet my hair is doing lovely <laughs> even though on some of my vlogs it doesn't look that way <laughs> it is doing really 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 well um, and my overall appearance has enhanced I don't want to say I look better because I believe that I look good in the past and that may be a lie I'm telling myself. But yeah, my overall appearance has enhanced on top of the um, 
not lusting and budgeting my money better and now you know I'm looking so much better so I'm experiencing an overflow I want to invite you on this journey of knocking out or of getting your five smooth stones and using the faith that you have in God to take one of those stones and put it in uh, what was that thing called a slingshot a slingshot and go ahead and, ma and imagine that Goliath that you are facing, whether it be you have a sweet tooth, whether you're too lazy to exercise, whether you just feel like you can't drink enough water, whether you're like me and you don't like going to the doctors. Yeah. Whatever that is, whatever it is that is impeding you from being healthy or and receiving your overflow, go ahead and put that stone inside of your slingshot and with faith in God go ahead and sling it at Goliath and let God because it's not by might nor by power but by my spirit let God do the work in you that he's intended to do and by doing that we have to submit ourselves to him and on the other side of that victory is a kingdom beyond what we can imagine. I don't think that as David was sitting and writing his psalms to the Lord that he knew about all the things that he would inherit as he continued to move forward in God's will and knocking down that Goliath that was between him and his the future that he was designed for. Okay. So I would like to report to you that I have been successful in completing my 2023 health goals. I did walk for an hour before going to work and I have also had my breakfast consist of four servings of raw vegetables and 60 ounces of water. And I've been successfully completing my health goals at 96% of the time. That's an A for me, hooray. <laughs> Fat girl finally gets A N P E. Tell the New York Times. So I would like to read to you a poem that I wrote. It's titled, Strengthen My Hands. Strengthen my hands. Strengthen my hands, O Lord, for what you have called me to do. The enemy is blaring and I request to pull through. The traps he has laid, the devices he has set for me. Though his antics are numerous, I am preferring the victory. I don't want to run away. I don't want to abscond this fight. I am calling on the Lord of heaven to equip me with his might. This vessel is ready, ready to be used and is well prepared. No dodging ministry here. I am not scared. This battle is already won, and for this test I am well equipped. Strengthen my hands, dear Lord. Allow me not to slip, but rather enjoy my success and give honor and praise to you. Strengthen my hands, dear Lord, for this is what you have called me to do. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me. I will see you in the next vlog. And we will be talking about unsurfacing dirt. Unsurfacing dirt. I will see y'all tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.